Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Saturday. My name is Jamie. Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm sorry. Long time no see. Um, life has been pretty crazy for me. I just wanted to do a fairly fast update only because I'm super out of breath, super pregnant. So guys, um, the last time I think I posted was when I got the nerve block. Um, long story short it got worse before it got better but it definitely got better it's already been off it's worn off so I felt like I was definitely feeling like a lot less pain in my face and in my head oh, my belly bump but you guys it is back with the full force I have makeup on right now so it's hard to tell but I have like um, dark spots above both eyebrows right here all around my mustache area right here 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 um the, this this one right here is quite noticeable i don't know why i'm not sure what the heck is happening but they referred me to a neurosurgeon and i'm just waiting on that referral it got rerouted unfortunately because it's the same place where they sent me for the headache clinic um, and so they thought that like they made a mistake and so they rerouted it back to the neurology and so yeah so I'm just praying to God that that can get pushed through you know to see because the last neurologist said that I needed the MVD surgery um, and that that would help me but <laughs> when it when I say obviously they can't guarantee anything right but when I ask them um, is that going to take away the pain that I have continuously in my face? Well, I don't know. I do know that it'll take away the shocks on the right. Mm, what about the left and what about in my head, you know? So I don't, I don't want to do it unless, unless, you know, I'm for sure. And of course there's no for sure. So I don't know. And I, of course I just found out I was pregnant right when this all went down. So I don't know guys but anyways as far as baby girl goes baby girl I'll show you guys a picture she's adorable she's literally so stinking cute here she is that was from today she's a little adorable baby girl I love her so much already of course <laughs> but that's my last um, 3D ultrasound, you guys, and it's bittersweet because, I don't know, it's just bittersweet, but she is um, doing really good. She is breech right now, so I'm going to be going into the pool and trying to get her to flip and praying to God that she does flip. Um, Nico was breech, my son, and I ended up having to have a cesarean because I just, she wouldn't come out, um, so I'm just praying to God that that doesn't happen. Sorry guys, I'm like, even touching my face hurts. Excuse me. Um, so the pain was for sure better and now it's back full force and it sucks so badly, you guys. I would not wish this on anyone. I mean, it is insane. It is so crippling. And then to top it off, I'm super prego. So I'm really tired, but I just feel like somebody is electrocuting me in my face, especially in this area. I also get it in this area more than anything you guys now i know like i'm allergic to the sun right now um i don't know if it's the autoimmune disease or if it's the face like i don't know what it is but the trigeminal neuralgia like you guys all i know is when i take the kids to the pool it hurts so bad I, i've been wearing a hat and like shades and trying to like keep my head out of the direct sunlight because it intensifies it it intensifies the shocks so so much but I'm going to change the subject anyway um you guys uh so baby will be here um in august and i'm i can't believe like literally a month and a half away um we're already halfway through june and boom july and then she's gonna be here it's crazy you guys i can't freaking believe it like at all um 
But you guys, I'm so thankful and grateful for everybody who has been helping me. Um, I really, really, really am because I really don't know how the hell I would have done everything by myself. And I didn't think that I would have any help. And here, you guys, God has been like, no, you're going to have help. Wanted a baby shower, was going to have a baby shower, all kinds of shit went around that. You guys, now I'm having two baby showers. Um... The second one is by my Thea Londa, and I don't know who's going to come because none of my family gets along at all. So, <laughs> you know, and it sucks because I don't even want to have to worry or think about that kind of shit. Like, that is not my issue. But the lady Paula from church, she actually, she's throwing me a baby shower. My baby shower will be um, in a week, and I'm so grateful and so thankful for her. I don't need anything big, so whatever they give me is just bonuses, diapers, stuff like that. I actually already got everything that I need for baby. Like, I do have a few things left on my registry, which I'm going to actually tally that up because I don't know how much is left on there, but not a lot, you guys. Um, I started buying stuff when I was about 16 weeks. And I thank God I built my credit up really so I would rather put myself in debt a couple thousand um, temporarily just to be able to make sure baby girl had everything because I did not want to not have and I'm so freaking grateful because I am so good like I've been consignment shopping I've been everything okay baby girl has all of the needs that she needed so I'm, I'm so grateful but um what are they gonna say so basically, at 16 weeks, I started shopping for everything, you guys, and like I've been going to these consignment sales. They have another one coming up, which I'm going to go to still, even though I don't need anything, but it's just exciting to go and buy shit, okay? I'm like, now it's like kind of an addiction to be buying stuff for the baby, but I'm so freaking thankful to God, you guys, because I was really scared. Um, but one of the ladies from church, she wanted to do something and then, you know, I mean, if I needed anything, I could tell my church and they would get me anything that I needed. They would a hundred percent get anything that we need, but I didn't want to have to do that. And so I'm really thankful that I didn't have to do that. I got the baby a really cute playpen. Um, she has three swings. She had four, but I just gave one away. I'm going to be giving one of those swings, maybe two of them away when I figure out which one she likes. They're all different types, okay? And I know that that's ridiculous, but I, I got the four mom swing, the Mama Roo, which I don't know if she's going to like, okay? A lot of people don't like that swing, a lot of babies. Um, and then I got her the, um, the Ingenuity swing, and then I got her the Graco swing, but those are all used in really good condition, you know what I mean? Um, and I had a second Graco swing, <laughs> um, but I seen a lady post earlier on Facebook that she's having a baby and she has nothing. And so, oh, excuse me, I feel really bad because I've been praying, God, show me somebody that I can bless the stuff that I have extra of. Because to be honest, when I got the second Grey Coast swing, I thought it was a bouncer. So, because it looks just like it's a bouncer, it's a two in one. So I didn't realize that it was like a two in one. So anyway, um, this lady posted yesterday saying that she was in desperate need and she was about to have her baby in July, July 9th, you guys. And I've been praying God put it on, you know, please find somebody that I can bless that is in true need. And you guys, thank God, this lady popped up. Okay. Um, and guess where she's at? She's literally at the old motel where I used to live, okay? And so, I don't know if that is not a sign, Chris clear, but I had um, some wipes. I brought her a pack of wipes, a few other things, some diapers, and a lot of shit that I'm not going to need because I already have, you know, extras of. And I wanted to make sure she at least had that, you know? Um, but anyway just be praying for this lady because I really do feel really bad and I know this lady was embarrassed when I brought her this stuff but it's like baby you don't even know I've been there too I used to live here too you know it's been years but anyway that's another situation but I do plan on doing a video of everything that I got um I just actually went I've been going on my registry every <laughs> a lot sometimes throughout the day and I order stuff and then like I need to stop because it's ridiculous but like, I just want to make sure I have everything that I need, and I definitely need to stop. 
I went on my registry today and I got the hospital gown. Sorry, not the hospital gown. I need the hospital gown. I'm, I'm going to actually add that to my registry. I got a nursing gown because when you're breastfeeding, like, you just want to be comfortable. Like, you don't want to be having to, you know, put a bunch of clothes on. And I don't mind driving my kids in a robe, you know. I don't give a shit. So, um, on my registry, you guys, I put just a regular nursing gown. So, I ordered myself that. And then I ordered myself, like, a, um, it's a three-piece. It comes with a robe, uh, like, spaghetti strap shirt. And then, like, um, some shorts. It's, like, kind of like sleepwear, basically. Because that's what I want to come home from the hospital in. I ordered that. And that'll be here Monday. And I'm going to see if I like it. And I'm hoping that I do. Uh, excuse me. And I want one other thing for the hospital for the gown for me. Then I also need to order myself a pair of slippers and a pair of like sandals for the hospital just to come home and you know, those are the things that I need. But oh my gosh, you guys, it's crazy. When I touch my face, it feels like I'm lighting it on fire. I need to put the freaking cold pack. Um, and it sucks because I literally walk around with it. Everybody already knows, like, they see me. I have this big-ass bright pink freaking mask on. I wish I had a black one because it doesn't look as obvious. Uh, anyway, I also ordered a, um, like, the packing cube thing. And I'm really excited about that. I hope that works out. I don't know. We'll see. I ordered two things off of Timu. And they were, like, wet diaper bags. Like, wet dry bags or whatever they're called for like the diaper bag because I really wanted one of those just to have in the diaper bag just in case you know babies always have accidents and it's nice to have that um sorry you guys oh my god my fucking head let me go grab that really quick okay oh hoo -hoo, holy cow little girl <laughs> she's breech so and I knew she was because I've been feeling feet kicking me in my freaking area anyway so I ordered myself the packing cubes and then I ordered um what else did I order? I ordered nine things off my registry today. So, oh, the little thing to put the butt paste on for the diaper. Um, uh, the baby, a little hair bow thing to put all her bows on. I'm just so excited, you guys. Like, I can't even believe that this is real, like, honestly. So, I have a few things left on my registry. And I'm waiting because I think this month alone... I've probably spent like $400 on baby stuff from the registry between the Amazon and Target. Um, and so like I need to like chill. But <clears throat> I'm not going to put her playpen up as much as I really, really, really want to. It's literally killing me not to put it up. But because I worry because my cat loves to get into everything. Um, I bought my cat a flea collar and I put flea drops on her because I've been letting her out. Because at night, like, she's like my baby and, like, all night long she'll keep me up. And I don't want that to happen with the baby. Um, and so I've been putting her out at night. I had to put her on a leash, you guys, because I don't want her just wandering the neighborhood, okay? I really don't. And I'm sorry. <laughs> but I don't want her to get freaking fleas, okay? Like, at all. So I had to, I'm, like, praying to God that she doesn't get anything because I don't trust my neighbors, you guys. Like, I know I take good care of my animals, but I don't freaking know about those people. Anyway, <clears throat> pray for me about that because my cat is literally like my child, you know. I love my cat so much. But I don't want her, like, laying in the baby thing. And she's already taken over the little diaper changing area. Um, and so I panic got stuff and I got a dresser. But the dresser that I got is a really small four drawer dresser and it's very 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 small okay there's enough room for socks bibs and uh hair bows a, a drawer full of onesies and a drawer for, for freaking sleepers and that is it and that is just not big enough okay my little girl has boxes and boxes already of clothes like the clinic that i went to they gave me an entire kirkland sized diaper box of used clothes in in excellent condition i wanted to do a video on the clothes because they're, they're so freaking cute um but they gave me those clothes and then i had bought all these other clothes so she really doesn't need clothes i'm telling people who want to buy her clothes to get her like six to nine months um because really like you know i don't need anything other than that like all the other clothes, you guys, in which in six to nine, it'll be around winter time. 
um, I believe, let me see, September, October, November, December, January, yeah, it'll be about winter-ish, um, but you guys, because all the clothes that I bought, like, I got too many clothes, right, but things that I do need still are, like, I could probably use some more towels, some more washcloths, so I put those on my registry, um, I plan on getting another pack of each, um, because I, I think I only need two towels, like, I don't need freaking, I don't need that many towels, but you guys, um, the towels that I got are those bamboo towels, and, um, ugh, and so, like, yeah, all this stuff that I got that I'm not gonna use, um, my sister just had a baby, so I, I might give her the stuff, because she just had a little girl, I don't know yet, I haven't figured it out, but, um, I do plan on donating um, more stuff to that place. I've been, I've literally taken them bags full of stuff already. <laughs> like the clinic that um, saved my baby's life, literally. Um, and just because you guys like those people, literally, I wouldn't be where I'm at if it weren't for those people. But you guys, my stomach is giant literally like and I am not I have a month and a half left like it's big she's a big baby <sighs> one thing that sucks is is that I got a scar right here and from the stupid pregnancy tape um which I really wish I would have used but um so I also got a bathtub like I bought a skip hot bathtub off of line for five bucks and it's the one that like is like a little dolphin or something like that. It's gray. I got that for five bucks. And it has a newborn insert. Excuse me. Um, a friend, Stephanie, shout out to her from church. She bought me a bathtub, the collapsible one with the thermometer and everything. Which is the one I really, really wanted. So, <laughs> I ended up with doubles of a lot of things. Like, I got the Baby Bjorn dupe bassinet. I was going to do the Baby Bjorn bassinet if I used one. It's like freaking $200, which <clears throat> I don't know if it's worth it. My friend said she had to buy a toy bar to go with it. Like, you know, the baby delight one comes with the toy bar already. So to me, I was like, they look so similar. I'll just get the dupe. Sometimes the dupes are not as good, but in this situation, like, you know, so, um, and then I got the up a baby stroller. I was, I wanted the Vista because like it had the bassinet but guess what I found the bassinet at the thrift store for four dollars I know and like it doesn't have a cover but like who cares like not me it is literally in brand new condition the only thing that sucks is it's blue but it doesn't matter because when it's on the frame there's nothing else with it you know what I mean I got the cruise v2 I wanted the vista originally but I, I went, I felt them, and it's huge. It's huge. It's bulky. I'm tiny. I'm like, I am not going to be freaking lugging that big ass stroller in and out of the car when the cruise is just as good and it's perfect for somebody like myself who's petite, you guys. Um, and then I have to show you guys a video of everything because it's, it's funner when I'm showing you this stuff, okay? But, um... I also, I got a little newborn Leia set. I'm not going to use that, you guys, just because um, this pregnancy, I'm, I'm 35. Like, I'm older. I'm in a different position than I ever have been. I just walk around like this all day long. My tits out, my stomach out all day long. Like, my kids already know just because I I like to fill baby all day. I'm just constantly filling my baby and, you know, make, are you okay, mama? All day. <laughs> but the thing about the clothes situation is I really really want to focus on like bamboo those are what I want her to be in every day like all the time is bamboo and really you only need like five good sleepers and you're good you don't need a hundred freaking outfits like really you do not need them like every kid I've ever seen ends up not even wearing all the shit because there ends up being so much clothes and I mean, I'm sure that's how it's gonna be, but my sister Kayla, she actually got me an entire closet full of baby stuff. Like, she made me a mini closet and I'm so freaking excited. I gotta go, you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for listening. God bless you and I'll see y'all later. Bye.